Hey, this is Paul. Here is a couple repairs for Ed. This is a this one over here is a K7000 19 inch standard res. And over here is a K7200 19 inch standard res. Uh, both came to me dead. Both got new cap kits and flybacks. Um, maybe a resistor here and there. And a uh, good reflow. And I got them up and running. And look, they are both looking great. Um, this is an original K7000 right here. And this is the next generation of K7000. They called a K7200. It's got a switch mode power supply on it, so it doesn't need an isolation transformer. Um, this guy only lasted a couple of years, and they moved up to the K7203, I believe. Uh, which uh, was the last model of the standard res 19-inch for Wells Gardner. These guys are very similar. Uh, they use uh, different chipsets, but they... I use the same flybacks on them. They work great. They use the same hots. But as you can see, on an original K7000, you got the heat sink here. That's connected to more metal here, which is definitely better for uh, cooling. On the 7200, they pretty much got rid of all the metal and just gave you a little heat sink there for the hot right there. But it's got the same width coil as well. Same width coils. Uh, the LA7823 is the same. But this has got a different color chip on it. There's the switch mode power supply. Um, it's kind of interesting. They uh, tried to upgrade it. Uh, but it... I guess it was having some problems, so they uh, only it only lasted a couple of years. But I, I rebuilt it; it should last a while now. Um, these guys have been on my testing rig running for a couple of days. Uh, I'll box them up and send them back to Ed. Any questions or comments? Uh, write it down below. See it.